it. I like to cook all this together and then you have you have a meal in a, in the in the pot. Oh uh, I also put in mixed vegetables and pinto beans out of a can. You could put uh, zucchini, you could put other stuff. Uh, traditionally there's chicken wings pre-boiled so it'll and then you, when you put them in there you don't have to worry about them cooking they're already cooked and they'll get softer and just kind of melt in your mouth anyway this is this is my method of doing things we're going to finish rice with ground meat mixed vegetables and pinto beans um, as a bonus okay, these are, that's done that is done now we'll put a little Nico in this pan to get the ball rolling here put Nuco, N-U-C-C-O. That's what I use. That's all. Uh, that's what I use to fry fish, or fry eggs, and that's what I use in, to make my Spanish rice. Now, as you can see, it's not much. Just a little a cube of butter. You don't have to overdo the fat part. <coughs> While that melts, I'm gonna do two two cloves of, of garlic. We mash them so they'll relax. That's no joke. And then We take skin off, of course, and then I think I'm going to stop this right now and see my rice because this is going to be very ready in about 10 seconds. Right, so that which holds about, about three and a half quarts. One cup, one cup of rice this is all that fits in there. So you go in here, get you what I call a generous cup of rice. have to stir this because uh, it's medium heat, uh, medium high heat. You first stir it to make sure that all the kernels are covered by that nuco. The kernels start to turn white right away because the heat, the rice is uh, Regular old long grain, long grain from Walmart, nothing special. So, this process here takes about five minutes or so. You have to, you have to keep an eye on it to make sure that that all the grains get covered with a little bit of that muco. It wasn't much, but it's, uh, it's just enough to give it a lubrication and, you know, a little bit of, keep it from burning. A little bit of oil.
Now comes the garlic. Nothing, nothing fancy, just little pieces of garlic. They get it, they'll melt. What I don't like is for people to put powdered part of garlic, salt, they call it. That's not good. With the new coat that I put in here, you don't need any salt. Okay, two cloves of garlic. And then, here's the secret to Spanish rice. Cumin, coriander. And it's a generous, a generous amount. There. Now this is gonna toast a little bit. And so is the garlic. it in here put the drops of bit in here oh. I put it in here and um, and measure total two and a half cups water and if I I like to put Erdes I H E R D E Z salsa. I put some of that about a half a cup or so. Gives it a lot of flavor. And then I open kind of mixed vegetables. The idea is to put it in here whatever you're going to add in here. Put it in there now. Okay. Because you want to stop at two and a half cups. There's two cups there. And I'm going to put some beans. Part of my fingers, but I've got no time for a spoon. That's three cups. So, we might have to take some back out. But I don't think so. I don't know if you can tell how brown it is, but it's crispy brown. So now, we add this. First, we put a little bit of this water in there. And then, stir it all up. Right here, right now, with this step, there's, there's something magical that happens to the Spanish rice. Right here, right now. Then we eat the, we get the rest of the ingredients. And like I said, we might have to take some liquid out. I don't know. Don't look too bad. Looks about right with all the ingredients I put in here and we top it off with the ground meat we put it in the middle because it tends to go to the corn the edges anyway so I'll just put it in the middle it's 
time it's going to bring it to boil. Cover it up. Now you set your timer for 22 minutes. Well, I'll put 23. Oh, I almost forgot. My Serranos. I grow these in the front yard in there. And these planters. I'll throw a couple in here just for flavor. Adds a little kick to it. Those are really hot. They'll burn your tongue. They'll make you choke if you breathe. But I love them. There's some maintenance here. Waiting for this to, to build up the pressure and put out some steam on the edges. When it does that, we can uh, turn the heat to super low and start start your timer. I usually look at it like this when I, I see steam coming out of the edges, then I turn it down. The secret to making Spanish rice is coming, comino, not cubes of beef, beef or chicken flavor, not garlic salt. Cumin is what, what makes it Spanish rice. <clears throat> Without cumin, I'm sorry, but it's not Spanish rice. No, 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 no. And start my timer. I also grow tomatoes. Just big tomatoes and then small tomatoes. Two different plants. And here's my next avocado. It's it's coming, taking it's taking a long time, but it's coming. Okay, break time. Whenever this is done, we'll start it up again. I'll show you what how it looks. Here we are. Only got a few minutes left. About the 20 minute uh, normal time for this mist rice. Let's take a peek. There it is. Hope you can see how how it is. That's how you make Spanish rice. Some people say, fluff it up. You don't have to fluff it up. It's fluffy enough. It's not sticking. It's not, it's not burnt in the bottom. And uh, you can't beat that. You let it uh, cool off a little bit. Some of that steam and uh, water will come out. But it, it's it's, uh, it's perfect. Let's eat. Hope you enjoyed my video.